Well, we're back out here. I guess we'll start on this pile. Mess around with some of these small transformers here. I did get the lights put in. Well, three of them. And it's pretty bright. I will say that. All right. I guess we'll get set up over here. I'll show you a couple couple different styles of these things that you're going to run into. Some are easier than others. Some might not even be worth it if they're like this guy. I mean, I guess we'll just cut the copper off it with the cutoff wheel and call it a day because it's on the outside. But some of these things can be a real pain. That one's, pr that one's pretty rusty. So is this one. Well, there's basically three types of these things that you're going to run into, for the most part. This is what's called a welded one, as you can see the weld up here. So this thing would have E-shaped -plate, e plates, steel plates, that run in here. And then the top piece is put on and manufacturing and then welded. It's an easier way to manufacture. Also an easier way to take apart. These ones are really simple. Then you have this style, which would be like a layered. There's basically pieces of metal that come in from both sides, and they lace them together with little spacer pieces in between the, in, the, in the ends, which I'll show you. And then you have these ones, which are pretty simple to get. This would be a ferrite one. So this outside material is just a... I don't know. It's like a porcelain, like a ferrous porcelain. It's weird. It just breaks really easy with a hammer. Well, I guess we'll start with this welded one. You get get on an anvil or a good piece of metal, and you strike it right where the weld is. This one's kind of there good. Got one section here. Come on. Usually they come apart pretty easy. This one, not so much. It had some good welds on it. All right. Then you just take this thing and stick it in the vise. Tap the center of it out. pretty much it. There's those E-shaped pieces of metal I was talking about. All right. Now something like this I would just unwind because it wants to unwind easily enough. So that's what we'll do.
These ones, like I said, pretty easy. These ones are even easier than the other ones. We win! <laughs> Pull out the chunks of ferrous material. This is another one that we can probably unspin. Oh, this one's kind of cool. It's like a big fat one. Yeah, yeah, put some gloves on. Now we got the uh, the pain ones. Usually these things can be a pain in the butt. Unless you just cut them. Which most of the time I most of the time I do just cut them. But sometimes you can get them really if you can get that first one loose, it'll just fall apart. This one's looking like, looking like we're going to have to cut it. Oh, we got one going. Sometimes it's just faster to cut them too, you know. Sit here, waste your time trying to get this first one out so it'll fall apart. Can be awkward. And each one's different. Some of them are really easy, some of them are really hard. Depends on how much epoxy they used and how many layers, how tight they got it. Some of them will just fall apart and other ones won't. This one. <sighs> getting that first one out is a pain. But usually once you get that out, if you haven't managed to totally destroy it, you know, you see these pieces will start sliding out of there. Once they start really coming out of there good, then, you know what I mean, it'll just fall apart. You start clawing them out of there. In most cases, as you can see, this one doesn't have a lot of, a lot of resin on it either, so it's 
pretty much coming apart. So I usually just usually I just tap it with a screwdriver even. Like just like this and you know the the vibration will start working them out of there and they'll just come right out most of the time. Just the vibration. couple of these out and then gets a lot easier and it'll basically just fall apart from there on And I'm ended up with this, which I'll, sometimes I just, if it's small enough, I'll just take the dikes and just get in here and, you know, really try to cut it. Right, and Rusty one is a welded one, it looks like. Old school weld.
you see the newer ones? One hit. One hit on those new ones, and I mean, they just, this thing was probably only held together with tape. The older ones are definitely tougher, for sure. Take an easy one.
See what I mean? Getting that first one out is really hard. This is why I usually just cut them. All right, you guys want to do this weird one? This one we might be able to unwrap. Might be pretty cool. I don't think so. Once, I don't think so once we get to the copper, though, yeah, see? Oh, definitely. I'm going to have wires on every layer here. I have to rip all these off.
This is where it starts to get difficult. Well, I guess the best way to do this is get these screws off and then we could probably do it from this side actually. I guess we'll leave the screws on there. Let's do it from this side. I'm just going to cut here and here, here and here. It's probably the easiest way to get them out of there.
Well, as you can see, some of them are way more difficult than others. This one looks like a pretty easy one. That one's probably on par with the other big one. They can definitely take some time. Is it worth it? I mean, copper right now I think is 270 for number two, something like that. So, I mean, I've been squirreling these away all year when I came across copper ones. You know, I'd nick them and see, make sure they're copper, and I'd throw them in a bin. It is February. Everybody's snowed in. There's nothing to do. Nobody's making any videos. There's no trash out there. So, this is the time you sit in here and putz around with this stuff. At least there's a little bit of money there. Not a whole lot, but it's something to do, right? Keep your mind busy. Otherwise, I'd be in the house putting puzzles together. <laughs> And yeah, using the saws all does kind of sling this stuff all over the place, but we got to sweep up anyway, so most of that's number two. And my yard won't complain about the tape too bad, unless there's like a really lot of it, but the pieces of cardboard definitely got to come out of there. Look how shiny. That's a good chunk right there. I got the scale zeroed out. This is most of the chunks of that last one, minus the little end pieces that fell on the floor. What do we got? Eh, we'll call it three pounds, the pieces on the floor. So at 270, that thing's worth like eight bucks, taken apart. I'm sure together it wasn't worth eight bucks. But if you're stuck taking apart little guys like this all the time, you don't really come across any big ones. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's up to you. You guys make that decision, right? Like I said, I'm not doing anything anyway, so snow and ice on the ground. and Other than put my lights up, which work pretty good, right? It's nice and bright in here. All right, y'all. I guess we'll call it there. I'll putz around here with a couple of these. If I come across an interesting one, I'll, I'll show you. But they're all pretty much the same. Layered or welded. Like this one. This one's kind of got some welds on it. This is an old one, though. I don't know. This one's probably layered by the looks of it. Yeah, you can see it right there on the end. I don't know what that welds for. Extra support to make it extra hard to get apart, right? <laughs> that one's definitely getting cut. Get that thumbs up, subscribe. So you can even get the uh, plug ends out of the ones that plug in the wall. The bricks that plug in the wall. There's usually a little guy in there. If you want to take the time. See you guys on the next one.